Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to repair a broken fan control in the Asus GL702CZ laptop. The problem is caused by the GPU. On some day the GPU is sending a wrong temperature signal to the embedded controller. The embedded controller then sets both fans to 100% power. At this point it is no longer possible to set the fans via BIOS or software. Working with the laptop is almost impossible because both fans are very loud. The first thing to do is remove the back cover. All screws are loosened and the plate can be removed. It is best to leave the screws in the back cover as they have different lengths. I also recommend moving and cleaning the entire cooling system. To do this, the four screws of the CPU and the four screws of the GPU bracket must be loosened. Then carefully remove the cooler from the mainboard. New thermal paste or liquid metal can be applied directly here. The cooler must be also checked for dirt and cleaned. Once the bottom cover is removed, disconnect the battery cable and then disconnect both fans. The two temperature sensors must be glued to the cooler. One sensor is glued to the GPU the other to the CPU. Make sure to stick the sensors in the middle if possible. I used a special two component thermally conductive adhesive for the installation. Some glues need up to 24 hours to dry completely. This should be taken into account when repairing. ASUS has used a special glue thermal compound on the VRAM capacitors and voltage converters. If it has dried up and needs to be replaced, do not use any thermal pads under any circumstances. When using such pads, there is no longer any real contact pressure on the cooler and you will have thermal and power throttling later. To prevent this, I recommend a special thermal paste like K5 Pro. For the repair you will need a pair of connectors. A pair of plugs, two PWM controllers, and shrink tubing. White and the red cable are carefully cut off from the plug. Be careful not to damage the other two cables.
Now the two power cables must be soldered to the circuit board. The plug is soldered on at this point. When you solder the cable to the board, the yellow color is ground and the black cable is 12 volt. The socket is soldered to the output of the circuit board. To do this, the cables must be shortened to 6 cm. Then the cable ends must be stripped and attached with four small pieces of shrink tubing. Pay attention to the correct assignment of the cables when soldering. The yellow wire is ground, the black wire is 12 volt, the white wire is the speed and the red wire is the PBM connection. Look at the pictures that are now displayed. Shrink the shrink tube together with a lighter. Next, cut out a piece of shrink tubing in the length of the circuit board. Cut out a small window in the position of the micro switch. This serves to use the switch later. Once you have done this, carefully push the shrink tube over the circuit board and shrink it with a lighter. The finished controller should now look like this. Two pieces must be made. When installing the PWM controller, it is best to route the power cable between the brackets for the fans and the mainboard. To do this, the two screws on the fans are loosened in order to lay the cable there between them. In this case, care must be taken not to pinch the cable. Once the cable is laid, the fans are attached again. Then the power supply for the fan control is connected to the main board. The fan cable is connected to the output of the PWM controller. This is done with the CPU and the GPU fan. Finally, the temperature sensor is connected to the circuit board. To set the controller now, switch on the laptop. LED 2 should light up on the controller. 
Slowly double click in succession to reduce the speed of the fan until it stops and does not rotate. Then press the button once and the fan should start spinning. Then do not press the button and wait for 20 seconds. The LEDs will flash. If LED 2 lights up permanently, the idle speed is now programmed. Now proceed as follows to set the temperature curve. By pressing the switch once, the LED flash slowly. By pressing the button once in a row, so far that LED 3 flash slowly. Press the button for one second. Now the LED LEDs should flash quickly, one after the other. By pressing the controller several times in a row, set it so that LED 2 and 3 are flashing. Press the button for one second. Now the controller is set correctly. Do the same with the second PWM controller. You can see the setting data sheet right here at the end of the video. I have set both fans so that the fans run at 5 till 10 percent power up to a temperature of 45 degrees. If the temperature exceeds 45 degrees, the fan control starts to regulate the fans up to a temperature of 85 degrees, which corresponds to 100 percent fan performance. On the datasheet that you should see now, I have circled the temperature zone with a yellow border.